All right, guys, this is basically a big pine tree, and this is pine pitch. Pitch comes from when a tree gets wounded, a branch breaks off or something, and it basically bleeds. All right, so that's a big hunk of pitch right here. If I go over a little bit further, you can see it dripping down the tree, and then there's another big glob of it coming out of that right there. That's all pitch. And you'll see, guys, I'll go nice and slow. It just runs down the tree. You can see all the way down right through here, and then it's a big glob down here as well. And I have some that I pulled off. You can see it's very gooey. It's very flyable. So what we're going to do is take this, take it back, and we'll boil it down and we'll strain it. Because this stuff has an awful lot of insects in it and, and bark and everything else. So we got to get rid of all that excess stuff. And then we'll put a few additives in it so that it's more pliable and it's more workable. You know that maroon orange stuff, that's what I want. This outside crap, no. I want to get to this right here. That's the pitch I want. So we're going to basically put it in this tin can, and then this can will just pick on this. So this is my strainer. All I did was take an old dog can, put a few holes in it, and then just took a coat hanger to hold it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the pine pitch in here, drop it in here, and then get the, the pitch what I really want, right in there. Double boiler sitting right here. And I also took uh, a small tin and I filled it with um, cloth, cotton. And we're going to just make some char cloth while I have this fire going. And um, we're just taking care of this as well. So we're kind of like doing two jobs at once. Okay, while well, that's heating up, I just want to talk a little bit about pine pitch. Um, pitch is used it's actually what you're making is the glue. And that glue um, can be used for um, repairing um, different types of things, um, your tops. Um, anytime you need glue, you would do that if you want to have any kind of uh, arrowhead to a shaft, put fletchings on. There's a lot of reasons why you're going to need glue out in the field. And there's certain ingredients that people mix to make this pine pitch. It's usually common to find people use um, the sap and then dried um, macerated grass with charcoal. Some people add in beeswax to thicken up the to thicken up the mixture. What I like to use, guys, is I like to use just a little bit of olive oil, virgin olive oil, and in this thing right here, this tin right here, is just charcoal. So I like to use a combination of charcoal and olive oil, and there's a, there's a reason for that. And that's because pitch is also really good if you have a wound that might need stitches. So if you're using olive oil and charcoal with the pitch, that will help seal up that wound, hold it together with a small bandage and some duct tape, and that would hold so you get a chance to go to the doctor or you could get out your sutures and stitch it yourself. Okay guys, this is what's left inside this top burner. It's just bark and all the extra crap that I don't want. When I take it out, you'll see guys, that's the pitch right here. This is what I'm looking for. And you can see it. It's just nice and watery and gooey. That's the stuff I want. So here, now guys, we're going to add in some ingredients. I'm going to put it right down here. Put in olive oil. I don't need a lot. It's a bit. Okay, you can see that's not a lot of olive oil I just put in there. And then we just want to stir it up. Stir it up. And then charcoal. Okay, so I'm just going to ground up charcoal. Put that in. That's to give it some kind of binding texture. Okay, you don't need a lot. A lot of people make the mistake is they put an awful lot of this charcoal in here. And then it turns out to be a nightmare because it dries out so fast. Okay, guys, this is last year's pitch. You can see it's got a very similar texture to this year's pitch. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it right into last year's pitch right here. Okay, guys, I just tested the pitch. You can see it's starting to get that. 
gluey feeling now. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to get very sticky, very gooey. This is what we want right here. This stuff just like that. Okay, guys, this stuff is just so gooey all over my hands that I actually have to use paint thinner. This is the only stuff. This is the only thing that's going to get this stuff off my fingers. But really, it's like tar. So this stuff is just awesome. It's really awesome. Water and soap will not get this off. When it's solidified, that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Okay? Still a little... Needs to dry a little bit more, but that's what it looks like. That's your pitch. This will last me all year. And the chalk cloth that we made looks like that. Okay? So it's just a tin can with a hole popped in the middle with some cotton on the inside. And that's going to work really well. We'll have plenty of pine pitch to do whatever work we need to do later on throughout the year. Okay, guys? Joe Matthew here. We'll catch you later.